So hello, welcome to stages 43 and 44 of the RoboCop. This might be a long video, I do apologise in advance. This is the right thigh part 8 and 9 and it's start of new pack day and it's also free gift day. So the first free gift I've got with this pack, you'll get this if you subscribe. Um, we have got, I believe this was delayed, um, this is the RoboCop power bank. And for me, I don't know how big this is, how much it's going to last, but that is going to be extremely useful for me for work. Oh, look, it's actually it's actually powered up um, and it comes with a uh, mini USB power supply, um, which I, I won't use. I don't have anything that's powered by that, but um, it's absolutely fine. And the way they, these work is that you I will need that cable, actually. <coughs> excuse me I'm just getting over a cold so when you want to supply power to something you plug that lead in and that goes into whatever or you could change the lead and then when you want to charge it up it goes completely opposite in this port you plug that in there and that goes into USB and that charge up so that is going to go in my work bag um, we actually use um, I have uh, we have this little app on our phone for for loading up passengers and uh, I actually use it because I've got an Android uh, a Samsung phone um, this app only works on Samsung um, it's not something you guys can download you can only download it with a link because it's work related but um, I use it on my phone we also have a work phone which we have to take with us in case the driver we hand over to doesn't have it on their work phone and then we have a ticket machine and they all need charging up and sometimes they just aren't enough charger ports on the on the bus right so the next free gift I've got and I got this because I pay by PayPal and that's the the Robocop bust um, it's quite an odd looking thing actually um, it kind of defies gravity a little bit so I'm gonna open it up I know I've just I've just lost about five thousand pounds worth of future value there by opening the box but um, I'm one of these that if you buy something, it's there to be enjoyed. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll go and buy things and, and then the first thing I'll do is take it out of the package and enjoy the product. And people will be shouting at me going, that'll be worth some money one day. Don't care. I want to enjoy it now. Um, so this is the limited edition bust. Um, and it's rather nice, actually. Uh, 1987 of Ryan Pictures Corporation, <coughs> 2024 Metro Goldwyn Meyer Studios. Um, so that's the bus. So that will look very nice, and I know just where to put that. Um, I have the perfect spot because I've also got a sort of a free gift. Um, if anybody watches my um, Infinity Gauntlet. Um, you'll know that I signed up for premium um, and I was wondering whether it was worth the premium because we got the base with the with the gauntlet which is perfectly sufficient um, but I paid the extra pound and got the premium base which is very nice but when you think that how many issues we took use making the base that's like a hundred quid wasted not that I'm grumbling However, it turns out I actually signed up for premium on the Robocop. Now, I don't know if this is going to come with the base. So I don't know if I've kind of wasted my money on this. Um, but this is uh, premium base part one. And this is what it's going to look like. Whatever happens, it looks like it's going to light up. Because, or may, I don't know. Um, but it is a very nice base. So... I know whatever happens I am getting a base so this will be built in a future issue uh, probably not it won't be the next video it'll probably be the one after um, so that's what I've got with this pack and of course I've also got packs 43 and 44 so I know you're all keen to get on with the build so let's have a look at what we've got so as I say this is 38 and this is the thigh, right thigh part nine. So 
please excuse me for the noises. Oh, that's not as bad as I thought. Um, I hate all this packaging, you know. It's what to do with it. So we have got a cat doing something. Uh, right. Oh, springs. Be careful when you open this, guys, because there's a couple of springs just come out. Right, so we have got... If I'm looking at the wrong magazine, that's why I haven't got the parts. Right, so part 43A, plastic, but it's the right thigh front cover. Very nice. We have got some parts that look the same. 43B, 43D is the upper rear rail and lower rear rail. Um, at the moment, I can't tell the difference between the two. I think they're either like that or they're like that. But we'll figure that one out as we go, as we always do. And this is the middle rear rail. Okay. And then we get two springs, 43E. And then we get two rail covers like so and then we get some uh we get some screws some bp screws and we've got some ap screws so the first thing we need to do is take our right thigh front cover and our upper rear rail which is one of these two and it says position the upper rear rail on the inside face of the cover so it's going to go there so it means that it's either this one and it goes this way that doesn't seem to want to fit properly or it's this one and it goes that way and i can confirm it's definitely this one so i've actually had these the wrong way round. so b c d and so you've got these rounded bits on the outside there and that's going to go round that rounded bit there and then you are going to get this, whoops, this, I'm going to call it a pointy out bit, this little rod bit there, that should be on the bottom. Now, a bit of a cock up. I have not got my screwdriver ready, which is absolutely terrible of me. And I'm going to get out a, a number three bit, a number two, and a number one probably go with the number two because that's the one that we usually tend to use so we need two BP screws I have two cats oh no bear with me a sec guys so my apologies for that um, what's happened is I have two cats that like to investigate my new spray booth and there was an entire jar of water which one of them has knocked over and it's gone absolutely everywhere so um, I don't often shout at my cats, um, but they were shouted at today and they've been banished from the craft room. And now Shadow is just sitting the other side of the craft room door looking very sad. Um, but that's the way it goes. Then maybe, maybe he, they, but I don't know who did it. It could have been Spirit, it could have been Shadow, but they were both in the area. Um... And the thing is, he's always up there up to mischief. And I tell him off and he just looks at me as though, how dare I tell him off. So maybe it's time that I actually became the boss every now and again in the house. Just once. That won't kill me, will it? Right, so I'm putting these two screws in. Be careful because you are screwing into plastic. And this is a little bit of a tricky screwdriver to use because it's a little bit the wrong shape, as you can see. Um, but we'll persevere. Right, that's in nice and tight, so I'm happy with that. So, the next thing we want to do is we want to pop in this, um, this. It's more of a rod than it is anything else. And this is only going in with one screw. And it's going to go in, you've got... You've got a screw hole and you've got a locating tab there and two holes and it's going to go in like that and that again will be attached with a BP screw and I'm just having a little look ahead at the next stage 
and we're going to need two BP screws for the next stage. So I'm going to get three of them out. One for this stage and one for the next two, next stage. So pop that in there like that. And same as before, we just screw that in. And we don't need to go any tighter than to the point where this part is, is no longer loose. There you go, that's nice. So look, that's in there. Do I need to tighten it any further? Okay, and the last one, stage three, is going to be this one. And this is exactly the same as the last one, except that the rod is actually pointing upwards. So we'll get our BP screw ready. Okay, we can just pop that in. We can go as tight as we want, but I'm just going to go in just enough to, for it to bite. And then look, it's holding that part on, but it's very loose. And then we'll pop the second screw in. Now I'm guessing with this being rails, when, when this section opens up where his gun holster is, it's going to guide where the doors actually go. Um, that's kind of spec. Genuinely, haven't looked further ahead. Right, so that's in lovely. Right, so step four, we need to take the springs, and what we're going to do is we're going to insert a spring onto each of these rods, and it's just going to go on. It's a it's a fairly tight fit, but it'll go on nice and easy. Lovely, and then on to stage five. We need to take our assembly from stage 42, which is this one, and that is going to go in. Um, how is that going to go in? I might need a moment to sort of work this out. There we go. There we go. So that is going to go like that. Does that look right? I don't think that looks right to me. Right. There we go. I think that's how it's going to go. Yes. Right. So we have our two rods there. We also have this rod on there. Now this rod there that's already on this piece from 42. That rod is going to go into that hole. But at the same time, you've got two guide rails there. So place this onto the guide rails, like so. And then... I think that's how it's going to go. And then that goes into the guide. There we go. So don't worry about the springs. The spring's actually going to go over this bit there. So place it on like that. And then once you get almost to that railing there, focus on getting that in. There we go. And then we have this little pop-out section. Lovely. Right, so that needs to be secured down. And the way we're going to secure that is using these pieces. Um, what are they calling them? 43F. And we're also going to use two, four, sorry, AP screws. So we'll get four screws out. Now, this is kind of going to be a trust the process because I can't imagine how this is going to stay in because right I've just noticed something guys don't let that spring go beyond this little square bit there there we go so keep the springs on this side I don't know if you can see that and then what we're going to do is we're going to place these over there like so and we'll secure that down with the two screws so there's one in and then we'll see see how good this system is um, I can't can't imagine how it's going to keep it in at this stage 
and I've probably just come across really negative but um, a lot of these builds I'm doing lately it really does boil down to trust the process and if you trust the process you do get rewarded oops but this will at least stop it popping off that way which it won't pop off that way anyway because you've got that railing in there keeping it in so um but by the time we finish the next issue i'm sure we'll find out and then i'll probably go oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i ever even doubted you there we go so this should move backwards and forwards like so because of the springs the springs is naturally going to push it out and now we've got some bits there that are obviously going to need securing on um, and then we've got some screw holes there um, but that is that is actually the end of that stage um, so yeah that's that's it guys um, so that's stage 43 so let's have a look at stage 44 and without opening the pack I can see we've got some springs I have a, I do you know what I wish I could take a picture and show you but I have a poor looking shadow at, at my uh, craft room door and he's just looking so sad uh, and what's interesting is he doesn't meow so he won't ask to come in he'll just sit there looking at me uh, whereas spirit she she's a lot more vocal um, but she's quite happy on her own as well as with company she loves a good fuss but daytime she'll just bog off and do what she wants so she don't care right now right so right thigh stage nine we have got a uh, gun holder 44a this is all plastic by the way we have got piece 44 i think it's this one um let me show you guys this is gun holder part that's what it looks like in the magazine and this is what it looks like in real life now that looks the same but actually look um, so I'm, I'm dubious but I think that's 44B 44C I'm not going to take it out of, a, out of its bag but that's the gun holder spring and then 44D we have this odd shaped piece which I think is going to go uh that way there we go that's rear middle rail bracket okay uh 44e is the rear th right thigh release button aha we have a release button so this isn't going to look a hundred percent accurate because it's going to have a button sticking out but if we don't put the button in how are we going to release the gun so that's quite reasonable and then lastly we have release button spring which is in there it was actually you can't see it um but there is two springs in there so let's get them out of the bag you know what springs are like they uh, they're very friendly with each other and they wanna they wanna meet up you still can't see it so it's actually wrapped itself around this spring right there we go so there's my two springs still hard to see that one because it's so small but they are the two springs so let's proceed so excuse me I'm sorry I've just had one of those sneezes that just comes up and then just disappears um, right so we need to take the spring uh, press the spring F which is the smaller spring and we need to press that into um, oh it goes on there like that by the looks of things um, I don't like that I really don't like that but 
it's I think that button that that knob bit there is too small um, right so okay so we take the assembly from issue 43 and we want to place that this is because it's all black pictures it's very hard to see the detail so it's actually going in the middle there so I think it's gonna go there Yeah, I can see what's happened, guys. This, I think this is a faulty part. Um, I am convinced this is faulty now. So, what should happen... No, I don't think it is faulty. Right, okay. So, yes, I can see what's going to happen. So this is a little bit awkward. You need to place this spring on there. And what you're going to do is you're going to... It's a little bit awkward. See that part there? You need to put... See, you've got a longer bit there. That goes into that hole. Okay. But... You need to do it with the spring under there. So that is going to be extremely awkward. Um, and I'm wondering if perhaps that... I don't know. That that the part that keeps the spring on is... Do you know what? That's in. That is actually in. But if I now let go of that, that's going to fly off. Um, so what we need to do is push that across. I don't think this is going to work, guys. There's, it's not working. So. Ah, there we go. That will work. That will work. Right. So, this is going to be an extremely difficult part to do. Um, so, I'm just going to take that out for a minute. So, what we are going to do is attach this from the other side with a QP screw, which is a top hat screw. So, it's going to be awkward. What we're going to need to do is get our screw ready. The, to be honest with you, you know me, these are the parts that I love. This is really technical. So, I'm pushing that down, and I'm pushing this part across as well. Basically, I'm getting all the help I can to hold that piece down. If I should let go, that is going to go flying. So from the other side, I'm going to be putting that top hat screw in. Okay, I'm going to go until the resistance changes, but I think I might need to do some adjustment. That's not even connected. Right, you need to push this bit down really hard, actually. I'm sorry, guys, I might go off camera here. Do you know what? That's done it. Right, so, what's supposed to happen... As that comes across, that's supposed to catch that, but it's not catching it. It might be because of it, the fact it's not finished. But once that's caught, like so, when you then press this, it will go down. You see how that just shot off there? It wasn't meant to shoot off that much, but you get the message. You get the point. So actually, do you know what? I think this would actually have been easier. Yeah, I can see how this is going to go. So the more you screw this screw in, the less movement you're going to have. But the more secure it's going to be. So I think you, what you're going to have to do is just have a play with it.
yeah I'm, I'm still doubting whether that's going to hold but trust the process guys right so the next step is we want to put 44 D in place and we want to hold it this way and this is where the trust is going to pay off I think okay so we're going to need two BP screws and I'm just going to take a quick cut because where I've got a really bad cold I just need to blow my nose okay so you'll see there's two screw holes one there and one there this shaped piece is going to go round now you have a little notch at the bottom that's going to go round that notch there and you've got a little pointy out bit on the side there which is going to go inside this uh, switch so I've just lost my screw I had that already so because we're going to be checking various bits I'm going to push that in and I'm just going to screw that in just enough to bite but I'm not going to let go of it okay okay and then we'll put the second screw in now this I think this is an awful lot of holding to do for two screws I've often said one of the good things about these part works is they overdo the screws they might give you six screws when maybe three will do the job having said that that's going in really really nicely so take back what I just said right so this is just gone in until the resistance changes oh do you know what yeah I'm not it's still not working so I think that's a fault there you go that's in that is actually in so what's going to happen is when that button is pressed that's going to spring open but it's not closing properly you actually have to push that down to close it which unless I loosen this so that it, it springs up more yes yes that's done it yes there we go guys so fiddle with this screw the screw that you put in in um, stage step two the, t the tighter you make that screw the more it's going to pull that button down but the less you put it in the less secure it is so what I've just done look you see it's it's let me tighten it up again and then you'll see what I mean so I'll give that a couple of oh, my screwdrivers on the way out so so I've just screwed that in a bit more as I push this you see it doesn't connect it doesn't stay and that's because this screw has pulled that switch down too much so if you've got that ever so simple what we'll do is we'll give that one turn that's still not enough so we'll give it another turn that should do it. I did deliberately tighten it up two turns but there we go that's not that's I don't know is that better there we go I'm just going to tight loosen it just a little bit more that's nice so you have got to push this in quite hard um, if you push it almost there it's not going to happen but if you give it a really good push it still doesn't work why does it still not work there we go you've got to give it a really good push push it about there if you push it there it doesn't seem to work if you push it there whoops I didn't mean to drop that but you see it connects lovely so yeah I am happy with that um, the, the bottom line is once I've finished it 
I probably won't be flicking it open and shut that much. And to be honest with you, what I'll probably do is um, I might leave it open on display. Um, but, you know, that's what it, how it is. Right, so let's move on to the next step. We need to take the gun holder. Um, let me make sure. Yeah, so step six is actually just pretty much what I just said. Um, press the, Check that when you press the rod, the pin goes through the hole in the end of the rail. Uh, also check that you can return the front cover uh, so the pin. Yeah, it's just, just that telling you to check it. Right, so we have got a uh, gun holder part 44B into the gun holder 44A. Now, what we are doing, we've got this little piece there that's pointing backwards. That needs to be away from us with this rail pointing to our right. Now, this is weird. Right, okay, I see. It actually needs to go on. This is a push fit connection. So you've got two pins there. Don't know if you can see them because it's so black, but one's actually a little bit bigger than the other. And the holes on there, one is bigger than the other. So we actually want this to hang over the side, like so. And that's it for that bit. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get our large spring and that's going to go over the rod there. And then we need to take our piece and then we need to figure out how this is going. Um, I can't figure this out. I think it's going to go that way. I don't think it's going to go that way. Right, I might be taking a cut here. Um, these black pictures really aren't doing anything for my eyesight. Um, so, I'm, I'm getting to the stage now where I'm just shoving it in places. Um, Right, let's see where the screw goes from the other side. So we've got... Right, I think it needs to come out there. Which is this one there. Got it, right, got it. So we have got a hole there and a screw hole there. It looks like a screw hole. Uh, this, rod, this spring is going to go over that rod there but you see there's a locating tab there as well and what's going to happen is we're going to push that in and then that locating tab goes into that hole so this is actually going to spring up and down and that will need to be uh, locked in with sorry bear with me one sec so my apologies for that. That was the postman bringing me something that's going to be coming to my channel uh, over Christmas. That's all I'm going to tell you. Right. So we are going to get a deep. Oh, I've got DP screws already. Um, so DP screw. Let's work all this out again. This is the only trouble when I'm filming in the daytime. You do get the interruptions. Um, but they're welcome interruptions sometimes. Right, so that's going through, and then we have this pin there, and what we're going to do is we're going to secure the DP pin, DP screw on there, and I can't see any reason that you can't just screw that until it goes in fully. And that screw is going in way too easy for my liking um, I know that sometimes we want an easy life but that is I'm gonna I'm gonna remove that screw because I'm just I've got a bad feeling that I have muddled up a DP screw with something else so I'm gonna take 
yeah they are visibly different so I put the wrong screw in there guys I don't know what that top hat one well check I'm not in a position to check the magazine at the moment um, but maybe there were two lots of top hat screws uh, washer screws whatever you want to call them they're basically it's a oh that's much better I mean don't get me wrong I like it when things go easy um, but you kind of expect some res some resistance there we go so there's the gun holder in um, so I guess that's going to pop oh I don't like that I do not like that that's all loose but saying that there's a, there's a rod there there's a hole there but that won't go in any further uh, right so look can you see how that kind of wobbles around um, but you know trust the process so I'm just going to double check those top hat screws yes so that was actually a QP screw um, which I can't find the bag that they can here we are QP so I've accidentally put a QP screw in that's why it won't go in right so what we need to do now is get an assembly from a previous issue which is this one and we are going to attach somehow um, right we're attaching on the back this out right 42a guys I can't figure this out so there's the gun this is the right foot so it needs to come out this way somehow and right I see it I think I see it right right okay this isn't easy right so what we have got going on here I think I might still just take a cut because it doesn't seem to be lining up there we go right so the lining up points are actually these two screw holes there one there and one there and they are going to line up pull this rubber bit back there's two pegs there can you see them that's our line up points and we will be attaching that with two EP screws there will be more to build around it um, but what's happening is I'm seeing all these screw holes and it's a little bit confusing so let's manipulate this rubber bit a little bit and what we're going to do two screw holes there and don't worry about anything other than those two screw holes because it will all come into place once it's done so we'll get that first screw in enough to bite it's very very loose at the moment because it's only in it's just caught that's it okay and then we'll really because I'm finding any time I touch anything it moves so I'm really worried about touching it right lovely job so that's going in nicely Okay, and then we'll go back and finish the first screw off. Okay, now I would suggest at this point do not try to bend the leg um, because that's only held on by two plastic screws. Okay, right. So that's still working fine 
Right, so now I can see why this is so long. This is actually going to be triggered from the inside of the leg. That's just a little tiny bit smart. I like that. Right, so next we want to get our assembly from issue 38, which is this big hunky metal bit. Now, that is going to go on. Let me check. I've got the other leg so I can get the symmetry of it. So this is the left leg. So looking at the toes, I can see they go this way and I can see that the, the join for the, for the pelvis is gonna curve inwards. So we're expecting, whoa, you nearly dropped that. So we are expecting this pelvis to go in that way. So, and I can see, right. So there's a little hole there that's where the switch is going to go so that is going to help us big time so let's focus on do i want this open or closed i think open will help us right so i can't show you what i'm doing guys um, but what i'm doing is i'm focusing on on that pin going through there and it's it's really hard to do it so that you can see what I'm doing. So I talk about trust the process. I think you're going to have to trust my process. So there we go. That's in. You can just see that pin there. Well, you can hardly see it. It really hardly sticks out at all. It does stick out. And to prove that it sticks out. Oh, that wasn't actually me pushing the pin. But that was. Right. So that is, oh, that's fell out again. That's not so good, is it? Right, so pin in, make sure the pin is there. And I'm gonna just pop it down this way. Now, we need some EM screws. And for the next two stages, we're gonna need a total of four. We have five in the bag. So that is all the metal screws. Uh, all the EM screws. Um, so I was thinking two steps ahead there. So these are EMs. So we are expecting these to be screwed into metal. Um, so let's have a look where the first that's just come out again. Right, so once we get a screw in, so the first one I think is there. We're going to have to go through the gun holder. Yep, I'm, I'm happy with that. And I think that was a little bit easier than expected. So it's going into metal. So get it nice and tight. And this, I think, is going to be a really good example of, um, of the screws. Um, I think this is fairly well held together. There we go. I've gone up a screw uh, screw size, uh, screwdriver bit size. There we go. I've got so much more to turn. There we go. Right, that is fairly well held on, just with the one screw. But something's happened. There we go. That mechanism's no longer working. Right, so I'm going to have to fiddle with this top hat screw there. I don't know whether to tighten it or loosen it. We'll have a fiddle, but it's no longer, the mechanism is no longer working. So. I reckon I want to loosen it off a bit more. No, it's not happening now, is it? So it's since I put that bit, I'm going to tighten it then. Right. 
I think once we put this section on, I think that has um, has just pushed it off a little bit. So it looks like my mechanism isn't going to work. Oh, that's in. That's in. You've got to kind of wiggle it a bit. Right, there we go. So open it. And yeah, it's stuck. It's got stuck. Yeah, actually having to press the button to close it as well. But it closes. It's, it's okay. Oh, no. No, it's not happening, is it? See, I wonder if that's got a part to do with it. That gun holder. That really is not... I, I hope there's another screw going or something going in there to secure that because you know I'm trusting the process but I'm not happy with it yeah that's interesting that's that's not happening guys Yeah, and if I tighten this, oh, there we go, it's in, it is in. No, oh, it's just popped open. See, the more I, I turn that screw backwards and forwards, the more it's likely to wear it out. I, I think he's going to be permanently with his gun open. Okay, that's not the end of the world. Right, so we have got three more EP screws to put in. And is one going in... It's really, really hard to see this black. So we've just put in... Um, ah! I may possibly have just put the wrong one in. So, yes. So, the one that I should have just put in first is actually there, not there. Um, just goes to show how clear these instructions are. So, let's pop this one in. I'm using a different screwdriver because there's not an awful lot of room there. Right, so that's the, that's the screw from stage 14 in. The first screw from stage 15 is already in. The next one is going to go through, through there. And then the last one is going to go there. So let's get these on. Do you know, this, this used to be magnetised. And now it's not, and I can't find my magnetizer, so I'm going to have to try and get it started with this. I think that's worked. And then I can finish it off with my non-magnetized screwdriver that fits through. This used to be magnetized, I know it did. This was a present from a very good friend. I was doing a build... Is that screw even in there? I can't locate the... Uh... There we go. I couldn't locate the uh, screwdriver, the screw head. Okay, and lastly, this one going in there. And this might actually fix the problem I had. Um, because it's going to pull all of that in. Yeah, I can visualise that this is going to help because it's pulling everything in. Yeah, yeah, that's going to help. Oh, there's a lot of screw and it's either not going in or it's an awful lot of turns to do. Yeah, that's not even going in. Right, so push down harder. There we go. It needed to clip in. So that actually wasn't in place properly. Um, 
and then pushing it just clicked it in so I wonder if this is all going to work fine now right still a lot of turns to do though I still don't think that's going in Uh, I can't pull it out, so <sighs> I can feel resistance, but ah, there we go. Yep, there we go. Right, so let's see if that's helped. Not really. I'm a little bit frightened to loosen this screw too much. There we go. That's done it. And it's also made that button a bit bigger. Excellent. See? Trust the process, guys. <laughs> right. So... Um, that I think is done that was a really tricky issue um, right so this is going to come now this is the bit I was dubious of because should there not be a spring on there I don't like this now guys that is not closing very well that's not closing at all look I can't work out if that bit is meant to go on the that is meant to go on the outside well it's kind of working um, I think I'm just gonna end up with it permanently open but look, it does it does come open but it's not It's not the most attractive thing, is it? But it works. And that doesn't spring out much. That's a, well, see, it's not that secure, is it? Right, guys, I'll leave it there. Tell me what you think. Is this a letdown issue or is this a really good issue? Um, I personally, I would suggest that you either have this closed or you have it open don't don't use this bit on the button on the side i think it's a little bit clumsy um but i really like the fact they've given you that um so yeah you know technology of part works um you go back say 10 years you weren't getting electronics and things and now you're getting all whistling dancing you know all this moving thing so you know maybe it's something that they can perfect in the future but it works it, it does the job so we have now got two legs um, and without actually opening it they do look the same don't they so it's it's succeeded in that sense um, so it's been a long hard struggle with these legs but we finally made it um, so next week next issue sorry will be 45 now I'm doing a single issue next one um, because now I'm doing a double so it's going to be the gun and it's going to be the pelvis part one it's actually going to be a triple um, it's actually going to be the premium base um, so this premium base that I showed you earlier you're going to get to see it um, right, so I'm now off to open what the postman's just brought me. 
and then hopefully we'll get that loaded up before Christmas. So thank you for watching this and I'll catch you if you're only watching the Robocop, I'll catch you in two weeks. Take care guys, bye bye.